So the Parker Sorrento is 10 and a half metres long, just under 3.2 metres wide. She's on a twin stepped hull. So she's on the plane much quicker than a conventional V hull. Fuel consumption is improved, top speed is improved, and the engines don't have to work as hard with that twin stepped hull. Lovely large side windows uh, into the heads, into the forward cabin. As you can see, this is the premiere of this boat for Europe. It's the first time it's been exhibited. A big stainless steel anchor, which is self-launching. So we have a cabin to the aft end via the sliding door. This is extremely spacious. Going to climb in here, give you an idea of how big it is. Certainly big enough for two adults. This boat's equipped with the upgraded stereo system, so that gives you a separate music system to the aft berth. We've got lots of LED lighting. Got a little USB charger in that socket there, which is really nice. We've got diesel Webasto heating on here, so there's an outlet in this cabin as well. Plenty of storage and then a little opening vent forward. Really nice view out the back window there over those V8 power plants. It's a fabulous view. Let's show you the rest of the boat. Okay, so that's the aft cabin. Let's take a look at the cockpit. Brilliant U-shaped seating all the way around. The seat flips the other way, so that gives you that U-shaped seating arrangement. The table goes down to make a filler. This is electric. Want to take it all the way down. With the advanced audio system, we have subwoofer, amplifier, I think in total there's about 11 speakers on board. Okay, onto the galley. We've got a nice size sink with pressurised cold water, optional hot water tank, should you wish to have hot water on board. Dynacook twin stove. Now this runs off of gas canisters, uh, the disposable ones like you get on the camping stove. A new design, very, very easy, and not as expensive as the traditional gas or diesel powered stove. So we really like this. The lid here can slide along like so and then you can lower it down to give you additional workspace. When you're not using it, it just clips up like so. Plenty of drawers. We'll go through them all just so you can see exactly what's in there, but they're nice and deep. And then on the side here, two swivel cupboards just to cover the points. Uh, we've got optional shore power, dimmable light switches, cigar socket and fire extinguisher. Trash bin, very important on board a boat these days. Going forward we have a nice large central storage locker under the sole. Life jackets, ski lines, mooring lines, uh, whatever you need. That's a very large space. We have two fridges. One is a drawer fridge, and the other a traditional fridge with a small freezer compartment at the top. You can, if you wish, change one of these to a freezer unit, should you need to. Canopy on this boat. Nobody really likes to put canopies up, put canopies down. This, Parker have made it really simple drop the locker down and the whole thing pulls round on this track and you just button it down the bottom. No framework, just a couple of zips which can remain intact and it just sits away like so. Absolutely brilliant. On the port side, as you've already seen, this flips the other way, giving you a double wide forward facing seat in the cockpit. So that gives us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven forward facing seats on this boat, which is a must for when you're underway. Nice substantial step and support rails as well for when you're underway. Over to the helm, single bucket seat with flip bolster. 
little storage bin there, car keys, phones, little USB charger in there as well. So we've already mentioned we've got 300 horsepower V8 Mercuries. They come as standard with active trim. So active tri trim gives you automatic engine trimming when you're underway. We also have automatic trim tabs in the form of zipway trim tabs. So there's a lot of automation going on there, making it much more user friendly, much easier to helm the boat. We've got bow and stern thrusters. Nice large 22 inch multifunction display. Uh, now that has the C command controls on there. So you can turn things like your lights on, your bilge pumps on, gives you engine data. Uh, everything is at the touch of a button. Control your music. There's our lighting. So it's all controllable from the 22 inch screen and dimmable as well, just by sliding the the icon very clever nice and easy to read has depth you can attach music to it so as I said earlier we've got on this boat the premium sound system and with that is this Apollo fusion touchscreen Bluetooth music system one of the very good features on this boat is the electric sliding roof just by a touch of a button you can enclose yourself Let's take it all the way. That looks really good with the LED lighting. Again, all of the LED lighting is dimmable. So if you're underway, you can reduce the brightness inside the boat. And that still gives you, must be seven and a half feet of headroom. All right, let's take you forward to the bow area. Okay, this is a fantastic feature. It has a bow sun lounge. On this boat let me show you kind of feature you see on a super yacht it's wide enough for three people has cup holders little storage bin there's a USB charger on the starboard side there filler cushion for the extra length nice safe area for handling the ropes we've got stainless steel windlass anchor and self-launching roller uh, and you could actually use that as storage if you're not attempting to use the anchor of course twin pantograph wipers and the screen is attached at the top the full width so for rigidity that's a very nice feature and i think very important okay master cabin at the fore end of the boat Let's take a look. So our switch panel on here, we've got heating, hot water boiler, your electric anchor winch, all your resettable circuit breakers, and your instrumentation to tell you what you have and haven't got in the way of levels. Sure power controls, we've got a heating outlet, really nice steps down into the cabin. It's carpeted. We have another music remote control in the fore cabin. Lots of LED lights again forward deck hatch and a beautiful space. There's storage in the sides, on both sides. LED lights again with the USB charging sockets. So the heads on this boat, you have very, very good headroom. So yes, you can stand up in here. I've been asked that a few times. Electric heads, macerator and essentially a wet room We've got toilet roll holder lovely glass bowl our shower just to the right here with again lots of standing headroom all in all the parker sorrento is a fantastic looking model from parker